Hi guys, so today is going to be a Dollar Tree haul. I have done a bit of a shopping spree at the Dollar Tree. So me and my sister went to one of the big Dollar Trees that are here in the area, a couple of towns away. So did a little tiny bit of a, a damage with my you know, credit card. Anyway, so let's just jump right into it. Um, so technically this is from two different stores. So, uh, so if it's not all kind of in order, then that is why I just figured I would get on here and do a quick video. All right. So without further ado, let's just jump right into this. So first off, I found these, this I was so excited for. I haven't seen any long sleeve shirts yet there. And this is the ultra cotton Gildan um, ones. These are just long sleeved t-shirts or yeah they're not t-shirts but they are. I got them in there was only two one size. I got two of them. There was only two so I picked up two. Uh, I'm gonna put a design on them and make them nice and cozy. Not sure what I'm gonna turn do with them quite yet but I figured I'd pick those up. Then I picked up, for the less exciting stuff, I picked up these tea tie-dye bowl things. These are really nice for your toilet. Uh, so I picked one of those up. I picked this up here and this is from, I don't even know if there's a brand on this one. This is Watermelon Daily Cleanser. It hydrates with, hydrates skin with watermelon extract. I want to try it, it's paraben free. Um, I know I shouldn't probably be buying face wash at the dollar store. This is probably not the best for my skin, but I really wanted to try the watermelon side. Honestly, if it smells really good and my face doesn't really like it, then I'll just use it as a body wash. Then I picked up some interesting other stuff. There were these here. I picked two of these up and these are the Garnier Super Purifying Charcoal Sheet Masks. These are expensive where I'm from yeah uh, you can get by you can actually buy these at like the grocery store or whatnot so the fact that they were at the Dollar Tree I was super excited for they're probably a bit older so I'm gonna use them right away if you guys want to see me doing a video on one of these let me know in the comments below all right then I picked up some seasoning so this is a red lobster seafood seasoning uh, I love red lobster I'm not huge on seafood but I think I'm probably gonna put it on french fries or something so there is that. And then there is this Longhorn Steakhouse Grill Seasoning, which I figured I would try. Um, and then it went in a bit crazy. So I picked this up. This is the Everything Bagel Seasoning. I actually recently bought this exact brand online on Amazon. And I think with shipping and handling, we paid, I want to say we probably paid, I paid probably about five or six dollars. No, nope, probably more like, hmm, I wanna say we paid about like eight dollars for one of these. So I found them at the Dollar Tree. So I bought four of them. I'm obsessed with everything bagel. I make spreads with it. I put it in, well, pretty much everything. I make dips. I put it in, well, almost everything. So there are those. So then I picked up this here and I figured I'd wanna try this out. This is the Just Pretending Dress Up Fun and this is um, like for Halloween. This is in the Halloween section. So they've got like the face sticker or the face gel gems and then like the little hair band. So I'm gonna try that out. I bought a pack of pens, woo woo, super exciting. Um, then I picked this book up here. This is Auntie Lee's Chill chilled revenge and um this is a singaporean mystery so this author writes a few other mystery books um so i figured it looked really good and so i figured i'd pick it up then i picked this up and this is a 500 piece puzzle and it looks very like mermaidy so i figured i would try that out and then from the last thing from this store I picked up was these here. These were the spooky glow in the dark gloves. These actually are glow in the dark hands. So they're skeleton hands. So I figured that would be fun. All right, then I picked up this bag here. It says believe in yourself. And then I got a bunch of stuff in here. 
So I picked up these chopping mats. There are two in each package, so I got six of them. But I love, love these for crafts, for chopping vegetables. Um, honestly, I've cut one in half and used it to apply air color. Um, when I'm doing a color correction, not in the salon, at home, but these are amazing. Then I picked up some baby marshmallows. It is, I know these ones are for, they look like these are camping ones, but these are going to be put in little hot chocolates. And I did find some more t-shirts at the other store. So these ones are the V-neck Gildan. Um, these ones are the ultra soft, I think. Yeah. And so those are them. So I picked up two of these. I always check to make sure there's no holes or um, if there are holes in them, like so this one here has one at the very back, just right here. What I can do is I can put some iron on transfer and just kind of stitch it up and make it look like it wasn't there. So then I, this, this one's a little bit less cool. So then I picked up three of these. I like these paper plates for just like putting crackers on or like nacho chips or like just snacking things. So then you're not, you know, using a whole nother dish. Then I picked up two of these. My boyfriend really loves these popcorn. So they're $1.50, which isn't bad for three. So I got two of those. I picked up some caramel apple lolly or pops. These are super yummy and I love caramel apples and I like those. Then I decided I was gonna try this out and this is, um, I don't know what brand this is. We'll just, that's that. And this is peach tea. So I'm going to want to, try. I figured I'd try it. I love peach. So and then I got a little dog toy. So obviously I have a puppy. If you haven't seen that video, um, it's there. I have a Frenchie and we buy toys like this that squeak at the dollar store just because she, well, she kind of rips them apart and then we get other ones, not because she doesn't chew on them to rip them apart, like like the fluff ones. She doesn't chew on the fluff. She just like likes to kind of chew on them, and then they kind of get a bit destroyed. So, like to buy cheaper dollar store toys for her, especially the ones that squeak. Then I picked two of these up here. These are the all-purpose wipes, um, antibacterial wipes. I love these for cleaning my kitchen and bathroom, just like wiping down the counters and the knobs and things like that after you know every couple of days or every day. So I picked up two of those. Then I picked up a hair accessory. Those are some cute little, I figured those would be really nice. I kind of love like the little details of the pearls. So I picked those up. Picked up another book at this other location. And this is Joy, Jojo Moyers, I think it's her name is. I don't know how to pronounce her last name, but I actually have a few of her books in e-form. And when I saw this, I was like done because she's a really good art, or artist author so our books are really entertaining so I mean the store this one had these two so I picked up two of the everything bagels so that leaves me with six of them and they don't expire until 2026 so we're okay <laughs> those will definitely be gone by four then and then I picked the french fry seasoning up I love the seasoning it is I use it instead of actual salt so love it and then i picked this up here this is the himalayan salt it's i love himalayan salt with garlic in it so i wanted to test that out figure that would be something fun to try out i bought a christmas decoration i realize it's september but um this is super cute so it says gnome for the holidays so that's gonna go up in my, on my wall not yet obviously not until after halloween but i wanted to get this before they were gone so then i picked up three foot masks. They're two different kinds. So there's this Aragon oil one and then there's these ones. Um, I tried one of these last week and I kind of really liked them. My feet feel really nice. So I decided I was going to grab a few more of those. And then I picked this up here and this is the Volcanic Ash Acne Cleanser and this is from Oxy. And so I love this brand. It helps with any acne that I have. I've had a bit of a breakout. My skin is, oh, my skin is doing some stuff. It hates me. I am not going to lie. My skin hates me. I got a facial done a couple of days ago, and it's been, 
hairy scary ever since so I think whatever they put on my face was either too heavy you can see like some zits here and I've got my forehead's a bit broken out so I'm hoping just to kind of hopefully let it do its own thing for a bit then I picked this up here and this is the elf contouring kabuki brush and I'm not going to use this as a um, a kabuki brush I think I'm going to use it for uh I'm, I'm, I'm not going to use it for contouring. I think I'm going to use it as a powder brush, but that was a dollar, 25. And then e.l.f. had, they had these. So this is an e.l.f. daily brush cleaner in transparent. And it actually, so I use a brush cleaner that is from a makeup brand, like a special effects makeup brand and what you do is you spray it on your brushes and then your brushes like you wipe them on a towel or a paper towel or whatever and this is pretty much exactly the same thing that's what it says on the back it says antibacterial brush cleaner just spray onto your brush a few like a spray a few times and then uh wipe on to a clean towel to remove the makeup allow brush to fully fully dry okay so I got three of these. I know it seems like it's a lot, but um, they don't sell them at the other dollar store that I go to. So I picked up three and if I like them, then I might actually have to buy them from e.l.f. If you actually have tried this and they work really well, let me know in the comments below. I'm not sure how well they're gonna dry, but I guess here's to hoping. All right, well, that was everything for this Dollar Tree haul. I know it's been a little while since I did a Dollar Tree haul. I haven't been spending that much money um, at the Dollar Tree or I haven't really needed anything. So that was kind of a fun, fun one. At least I got some really interesting things and I'm hoping some of them work really well. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a good old thumbs up so you know, so I know you like these videos so I can continue to make them as well as I hope you guys are staying safe and have a great day. Bye!